So here we're going to do a demonstration of what's known as the 27-3 test. And this test is basically to determine if a sample of biodiesel is likely to meet ASTM standards for uh, free and coated glycerin. This basically measures how complete the reaction was. So first of all, we have our sample of clean, dry methanol. This is one of the essential ingredients. We have two vials. We have a syringe for taking out the sample of the biodiesel and a syringe for measuring the alcohol. So first, let's take 27 milliliters of this alcohol and put it in one of the syringes. So this is a 10 milliliter syringe, so we're going to fill it up once, twice, and then 7 milliliters in it. So that's where the 27 comes from in the 27-3 test, is the 27 milliliters of methanol alcohol. Next, we get our sample of fuel to be tested, and this is where the 3 comes from. We take 3 milliliters of this fuel, we take it, we put it in the 27 milliliters of methanol alcohol, then we carefully seal the lid completely, close the snap, and we shake it up. Now what we're looking for is the fact that the biodiesel dissolves into the methanol alcohol. You see there it has dissolved, you don't see any bubbles of biodiesel floating around. In fact you see a, a clear, bright, single phase here. No phase difference between the two liquids. On the other hand we have our sample that won't meet ASTM. While the sample looks clear and clean, there's no way of knowing exactly how many dye and triglycerides are in there. So, we'll once again repeat this test. We'll first get our alcohol syringe, fill it up once, 10 milliliters, 20 milliliters, and 27 milliliters. Then, we take our 3 milliliter sample of fuel and we put that in the sample of methanol. And just like last time, we seal the lid completely, close the safety snap, shake it up, and we see a tremendously foggy appearance. This is due to the fact that this sample has not dissolved well into the methanol. So this fogginess is caused by small um, globs of undissolved fuel floating around in here. We see a very marked difference between this and the sample that's likely to pass ASTM. So now we return to these samples about five minutes later and we observe what's happened. This sample, this, the fuel that's likely to pass ASTM, has stayed clear. Once again, because the biodiesel dissolved into the methanol, it can't settle. It's molecularly suspended in the solution. The sample that was foggy, that had a high amount of triglycerides in it, is still foggy because it has these uh, little particles of fuel dissolve, uh, floating around in there that haven't dissolved into the liquid. And we see this layer on the bottom, this second phase. Once again, that's fuel that was unable to dissolve that has started to settle out of the solution.